All right, so in this, uh, this equation you see in front of here, we have p uh, equals p naught. I, I know that is what they call that little zero, p naught, uh, bracket b, bracket exponent t. Now, what is all this stuff? Well, this is an equation that's really helpful when you want to uh, graph exponential growth or decay. Now remember, whoops, remember growth always looks like this, okay? And decay, as you know, whoops, decay always looks like that, okay? Now, this equation, wow, I'm really, uh, it's been a little while since I've written on here, so I'm getting a little messed up here. Here, let's get rid of that. Okay, so this part here, is the current population. So most questions that you deal with in this class, you're actually not, you're, gonna, you're not going to know the current population, but they will tell you the population at the beginning, which is called the initial population. So you'll write the number in there. And over here, the B part, I just put a B in there. It could be anything. It's called the growth or decay factor. Okay. And should I say more about that right now? I think I will on the next page, okay? So the growth or decay factor will go here. We're going to talk more about that. And T over here is time, okay? So I think I should just move to the next page. We're going to talk more about this part right here, okay? So more about the growth or decay factor. Okay, so if the number in here where B is is like 1.35 then we're going to have growth going on okay and I have it written down here growth is happening when B is bigger than 1 okay so 1.35 definitely bigger than 1 okay if they said uh, if they said the population is increasing by 3 percent each year this is 1.03 or sorry 1. Point, yeah 1.03 is a growth decimal so uh, how did they come up with the 1.03? Well, remember, if the population is growing by 3% everywhere, every year, then you already, you start with 100%, right? Okay? And if it grows 3%, then you are actually at 103%. So you change that into a decimal, and that's how you come up with the 1.03, in case you're wondering about that. Okay? Now, decay, which is a graph that will go downwards like so is happening when B is between 0 and 1 so when you have a fraction or a decimal between 0 or 1 okay in this case here it said a population is decreasing by 3 percent each year this is 0 0.97 as a decay decimal well how did they come up with that well the population was a hundred percent right it's decreasing every year by 3 percent so you get 97%. Okay, you write that as a decimal, 0 0.97. Okay, and that number would go in right there. How would you do this on a graphing calculator? Well, we'll practice that on the next page. But the B part is the part that's uh, very important because we're going to be talking about growth or decay there. And you just have to know what a growth decimal will look like. It's bigger than 1 or a decay decimal, which is when it's between 0 and 1. Alrighty, let's move on. Okay, so this is a question about Tracy. She studied a pond where frogs lay eggs. She found the number of tadpoles increased by a factor of 2.43 every day. That is a growth. Whoa, I'm using the wrong color of ink. That is growth, obviously. The number of tadpoles t can be modeled by this relation, and they just gave us this relation, okay? So, this is how you do it. Uh, let's go through these questions. Is this growth or decay? Well, it's growth because 2.43 is a number that's bigger than 1, okay? How many tadpoles were present at the start of Tracy's study? Well, I told you on this page that on this page that the initial population is the number in front of the brackets right here okay so the initial population 
And in this case, the number 265 is in that spot. Sure enough, that is how many tadpoles were present. Okay? It says to graph the relation. Now, it said use a graphing calculator. Um, maybe I should show you on a graphing calculator just so you can see how easy this is to do on a graphing calculator. But the basic idea is that this is a growth equation, so we know it's going to go up in this direction. But let's just think about it for, I don't know, a couple different situations. What if we're talking about the first day? No, let's say, let's say zero days at the very beginning. Well, look up here at the equation. 2.43 to the exponent 0. Anything to the exponent 0, as you will recall, we just done this earlier, right? Anything to the exponent 0 is just 1. So we know that at zero days, we start at 265 because 1 times 265 is 265. So here's 265. Okay? If we go one day, all you would do is go 265 times 2.43. It's going to be like, I don't know, like 600 and something. Who knows? So it'll be bigger. And if we went two days, we know that this is an exponential equation, so it's actually going to start rising faster and faster. Okay, and this was 265 right here. 265. There's our graph. To show you how to do this on a graphing calculator, just for fun, whoops, that's not what we want. There we go. Let's try it out. Okay, all we do is type this equation in the y equals section here. So you type in 265 and then hit the bracket, 2.43, and then finish that bracket off. Hit the exponent button right here and X. If you graph this, start by making good window settings, by the way, too. So the window setting, X minimum is zero, a uh, negative 10? No, let's make it zero. Okay. The X maximum, let's make it really big. Uh, I'm just going to put 100 there. That's a lot of days, right? Uh, the Y minimum, we don't need to go below Y, so let's just make Y minimum zero. And Y maximum, that's going to be where this graph sort of starts on our window here. Well, we know the initial population is 265, so let's make this number bigger than 265. Let's make it like, I don't know, 280. I'm just choosing a number bigger than 265. Hit graph. Let's see if this thing works. Oops. See what I did wrong? Wow. It's a good thing I made a mistake, because sometimes mistakes uh, make things clear, right? Okay, so that's all fine, but the Y part is the part I made the mistake. It's starting at 265, but it's growing. It's going upwards. In my mind, for some reason, I forgot that this is a growth equation. I thought it was a decay, and I was saying it had to start up here and go down. Well, 280, that's just, that's near the beginning. We want to go much, much higher than this. So let's just say like, let's say like a thousand. Let's check it out now. Okay, I didn't see anything. Let's make sure I typed it in properly. 265, 2.43, window. I wonder if 100 was too big as far as the days go, because it's not showing up. So I'm going to hit 50 there, and let's see if that makes it look any better. Okay, it's getting better. So I'm making mistakes here, and I didn't do it on purpose. But the good news is you're seeing that mistakes sometimes help make things clearer. So 50 days is too much. It just squishes the graph too much. So let's put like 10 days. Let's see if that looks any better. See how it's looking better now? We've got 10 days here. I'm going to make it even smaller. Make it uh, 4 days. See, it starts to look better and better. Okay? So, now, a question like this said, graph the relation. Well, notice they look quite similar. There they are. We did a pretty good job. Um, the question after that said, how many tadpoles were present after two days? Well, to do this question algebraically, what you would do is you would put the 2 right here. Okay? You would put the 2 right there. Okay? And you would, you could type it in on your calculator if you want. And this is the number you would come up with. 1,564.8 tadpoles. And the person that wrote this just rounded it off. Okay? So that's what happened there. 
And now let's do it on the graphing calculator. This is nice. All you have to do is push trace and 2. It actually was there by accident, I don't know why. So push trace, x equals 2, hit enter, and look at that, it's the same answer. Look at that, 164.79, which is really 164.8. It's the same answer, okay? Graphing calculators are wonderful. Okay, let's do this next one. How many tadpoles were present after one week? Well, that's the same thing as we just did. One week is just seven days. So there's the seven up there. Do it on your calculator, and you come up with 132,584 tadpoles. I just rounded it off. Okay? And on this, you would just go x equals seven, hit enter. Oops. The reason why it didn't like 7 is because my window only goes up to 4. So I'm going to make it go up to 7. I'll graph it. <clears throat> and then I hit trace once it's done graphing. Hit 7. Hit enter. Look at that. Exact same answer as what we got down here. I'll pull it down there. Let's see? 132, 583.59. So that's a lot of tadpoles definitely exponential growth. Okay, let's do the next question. Late in the summer, the population of black flies starts to decrease by 4% every day. So remember, when something's decreasing, that's decay, you start with 100%, okay? But it's decreasing by 4% every day. Well, that leaves us with 96%. Okay, and that's how they came up with the decay decimal, which is right there, of 0 0.96. They just changed this 96% into a decimal. Okay, and over here we have t, it's an exponent t. t is the time in days. Um, 6720 is how many black flies we're starting with. Okay, so we're starting with 6720, and it's a decay question, so it's going to go like this. Okay. There's our graph. 67.20 is our starting point. Black flies are not fun. I've tree planted and they ate me alive practically. Okay? So it says down here, what would be the population at the end of the second week? Okay, the second week. Well, how many days is that? Well, that's 14 days, right? So you can just type in the 14 on your calculator where the T is. Make sure you use the exponent button properly, so go 0 0.96 exponent 14, then multiply by 6720. If you don't do it in that order, if you go 6720 times 0 0.96, you're going to get the wrong answer. Remember bed mass? You have to do the exponent part first, okay? Brackets, then exponents, and then do the division and multiply, okay? And you end up getting this answer. There will be 3,795 black flies at the end of the second week. Now that's uh, luckily a lot less black flies. Okay. Once again, if you wanted to do this on your graphing calculator, just type the equation in. 6720 bracket 0.96 exponent x. Okay. Uh, window settings. Okay, this time we're talking about dk. So x minimum, x maximum, I'm going to make it like 100 days. And the maximum is, we see it's 6720, so I'm going to make it like 6800, just a little bit bigger. Let's push graph. Look at this graph. Perfect. I couldn't draw it, I couldn't draw it better myself. All right, so there it is, beside the other one. Nice drawing. Okay, and if you if they asked you what would the population be at the end of the second week, just go trace, and we know it's 14 days later. 28 days later. No, just kidding. That's a movie. Uh, X is 14, and there is the number of black flies ready to bite you. Okay, let's do the bottom question, and then we're done. Oh, that was all the questions there are. Look at that. Surprise, surprise, we're done.